So I found Henry in a factory farm. His mother was in a sow stall and he was probably two or three days old. He was really, really sick. He was sort of leaning against the wall and he was not that far from death. So I made the decision to take him from his mother, which I felt really bad. If I had one wish, it would be to be able to tell that pig that one of her piglets had a life that no other factory farm pig in Australia ever has, which is a life of freedom. He was very sick for a, a, quite a while, well, for a week or two, and then he just took off <laughs> and blossomed into a great big, beautiful, gentle pig. When he was a baby, he spent a lot of time around dogs, lambs, rabbits. His best friend was a blind golden retriever called Raffi. He's grown up with so many other animals around him that he sees this place just one big family. Henry always sleeps with Marvin, but I noticed about probably a month ago, Ivan started sleeping with them and these three like to be out where the people are and I guess they're a bit special. Henry actually really, really loves to graze. It always makes me think of all the pigs in factory farms because they never ever get to taste grass and it's something that pigs are meant to eat and they love. Every time you look at your friends here like Henry, you're reminded of all the terrible suffering you've seen in the places where Henry came from. They often have never seen the sunlight until the day they go to slaughter through the slats in a truck. I feel very honoured to have been able to share the life of a factory farm pig and make it a wonderful life. People don't meet farm animals and if they did, they would understand there is absolutely no difference between the relationship you have with a dog and the relationship you have with a pig, a cow, a sheep, a turkey, a chicken. They love affection and they love to belong and they love kindness. And if you give them those things, they give it back to you tenfold. If I could ask people one thing this Christmas would be just don't, don't eat animals, don't eat animal products. And if I could ask them two, it would be go and visit a sanctuary, go and hang out with a pig and a lamb and a chicken and just, just sit and be. It'll be the softest and the kindest you've ever felt. And you'll probably understand why so many of us refuse to eat animals and animal products.